friends, Shay here. So let's check in on the year. <laughs> so we haven't really done a check in on anything going on um, with my goals or anything like that. So let's kind of chat about things. So goals for the year. <laughs> my first goal was two books a week, which was 104 books. Well, I've read 109 books. But honestly, I do feel like I haven't been rushing my books as much as I have in the past, which was the reason I set the goal where I did. So I am okay with that number at this point, because in previous years, I would already be at 200 books. Now, this does not include my manga. I do separate that out. Manga, I believe my goal was originally going to be five volumes a week. But with the way things were going on early in the year, I did bump it up to 365, which averaged out to about a volume a day. Well, we're more than going to exceed that because I'm already at 300 volumes of manga. I've had some big manga reading events and I've been trying to read through my physical TBR a little bit quicker. I have some things that I've collected that I haven't gotten around to catching up on and things like that. So we're at 300 volumes of manga at the end of June. So there is that. <laughs> um, clearly, I still read tons of manga and that's fine. I'm going to read a lot more manga than I'm going to read books, and I'm okay with the pace I'm going at right now. So I'm not mad at those numbers. Next up, for my 23 and 23, I've got 10 read as of the end of June. So I feel good about that so far. It's better than I do most years, honestly. So usually I end up forgetting about that. But because I put it in my bullet journal, like right in my face, it, and I'm back checking that area of my journal quite a bit for other things. So that ends up helping quite a bit. So for Yono Long, I am currently on track. I'm very excited, been loving how Yono Long's been going. I hope you've been enjoying it as well. Um, for my One Piece reading, <laughs> I have read 30 volumes so far, and that is all. <laughs> I am very behind on where I need to be at the midpoint of the year, but honestly, because I'm enjoying the other things I'm reading so much, I'm not mad at going a little slower on one piece. I can take my time with it. Yes, I wanted to do it all in one year, but that's not going to happen. And that's fine. I'm okay with this. I wanted to some regular, some other goals that I had. Um, so one of them was to finish my audiobook TBR. So for Audible, yes, I have finished that TBR and I'm keeping up. Basically, I am only getting a book through Audible when I can't get it through my library and I have a credit to spend. So I'm not going out of control with Audible like I have in years past. So I'm very happy with that. Libro, on the other hand, no. I currently have like 40 audiobooks through Libro FM. The audio influencer program has really been treating me very well. I'm hoping to catch up on a bunch of those throughout the rest of the year. They keep putting up such good ones that I'm interested in anyway and getting them for free. Like I'm not necessarily mad at that. I'm not spending my own money. So that doesn't necessarily make me mad. That number being up is actually okay with me. Um, so I wanted to lower my ebook TBR by 50 was one of my goals because I had 824 at the beginning of the year through reading from my Kindle and actually going through everything in my unread list and clearing out the things that I know I genuinely don't want to read anymore. It is now down to 716. So I'm very happy with that. That goal is complete. And that includes all the things I got from Stuff Your Kindle. So I'm really narrowing down what I want from my Kindle and what I'm reading on my Kindle, what I'm just checking out from Kindle Unlimited and what I'm actually buying and keeping on it. So I feel really good about that number. So cutting my physical TBR in half was the other goal. That hasn't happened. Very obviously that hasn't happened. My spending habits have not been as good as I wanted for this year. Um, so I do not know my current number. I do plan on collecting that data here in the next couple days. And I do plan on going through my physical TBR and again, culling it. I'll probably do a separate video for that. It might not come till August. Um, but yeah, so that will be coming your way eventually. But yeah, so... Those are kind of some of my loose goals. One Another goal that I had was to make two to three videos a week. Um, I've mostly done that and I'm okay with that because usually when I've taken a break and taken longer, it's because like I was either creatively spent or work was draining me and I'm okay with that. For me, this is a hobby, not a job. Yes, I do get paid a little bit and I appreciate everybody who's a member and all those kinds of things and I do try to give you 
content or early access to things. I do try to do all of that for you. But there are some days where I just can't turn on a camera and no one said anything about it at this point. But I just appreciate that you all are okay with it. I do feel like the algorithm's starting to punish me a little bit for that because for so long I was uploading a lot more and more consistently and things aren't as consistent as they used to be for me. So thank you all for being so kind and just forgiving of that and still being here with me. So let's talk a little bit about how this year has been going for me. Reading wise, like I said, I'm happy with what I'm doing. Um, I honestly think that I'm not just comfort reading. I'm reading things that I've actually been wanting to read. Things that I love to read like historical fiction and literary fiction that tend to be a little heavier. Um, not necessarily longer, but heavier. And things like fantasy that do tend to be longer. I do feel like I'm picking more of those up this year. And that was a loose back of my head goal. I don't remember if I actually said that in any video. But it is something I have been wanting to expand and explore. And I do feel like I'm doing that. Um, I do feel like I'm picking up more works in translation this year, which is fantastic. Makes me very happy. Want to continue to do that. Um, with the amazing readathon coming up, I plan on picking up a few more, which is great. Yeah, overall, I've had a really good reading year. Like, I'm not mad. Like, I've had a few duds. And I'm also being a lot better about just DNFing books and just putting them down, being like, this book isn't for me. I'm not going to waste my time. It's not going to get more than a three. Why am I still reading this when I have a bunch of other things that I'm excited to read? So I'm, again, very happy with that particular um, trend in my reading. Otherwise, I do feel like I want to offer my members a little bit more. So I'm kind of relooking at that thinking of what I can do. We might start doing some member sprints on my days off or something like that. I'm trying to get it figured out right now. I don't know. Did get to go see Izzy with it in January, which was really fun. I'm hoping to do a little more travel later on um, this year. I mean, I have to do it in the next couple months if I'm going to do it. Otherwise, I'm going to be into holiday time at work and that's going to be just not okay. <laughs> holiday time is not good. Finding a YouTube balance with my work balance is getting better. Um, and I'm also being a lot better about taking time to just kind of veg. Um, before I didn't feel like I could, I felt like I always had to be reading or I always had to be making content. And I feel like I'm just giving myself a little bit of grace and a little more time on my days off now where they're not just packed with content, content, content all day. And so that's been good for me as well. So I think that's everything that I wanted to check in on at this point. I've given you like my bests and worsts already for the year kind of a thing. Not worse, but I've given you my best books of the year so far. I tier ranked all the manga series that I started and you'll have one more manga based one. I'm going to talk about the series that I completed um, in the year as well. So I just haven't gotten around to that one yet, but you'll be getting that one soon. Anyways, with the amazing readathon stuff, I've just been sneaking those in as well. So some of this mid-year content has taken a little longer to get to you. So thanks so much for watching this video. Thanks again for being here. If you're here just because you love me, leave me the pink sparkle heart emoji, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. It's been raining for days now, been running like a child. Can't feel the cold, well, I'm lost here with you, lost in the Lost as I choose